going on everyone it's your boy Ty Cole here with your voice media and today I'm talking to one of the he's amazing like one of the biggest stars that like I've seen growing up that I just enjoy your work Mr. Lee. thank you thank you I, I appreciate that now we've seen you play a versatile of different roles but this one's different a little bit now you're playing a mobster in this movie and you truly are ruthless I mean ruthless <laughs> However, what I noticed is there's a compassionate side to the character in some moments. Now, what was it about the role that made you interested? And when filming, what was your goal when adding depth to the character? Well, um, first is, you know, it's, it's exactly what you said, you know, playing a multidimensional character, multidimensional mm -hmm. antagonist, you know, you know, we can all play, you know, roles that are just one-sided. They can be fun sometimes, but when you get a chance to, you know, to give your character layers, and yeah, that was man. something that Wes Miller, the director, who also co-wrote the film, he wanted to do with that character, Pettis. He didn't want to make him typical. He didn't want to, he wanted to make him a little bit different. Right. And um, he said that's the reason why he, he wanted to, he wanted me to play the role. And so, um, you know, I'm glad it worked out for both him and me. It kind of remind me of like a like an anti-hero in a sense because while he's doing all the bad stuff on the side you see him still giving back to the community you see him still having somewhat of a heart even in the scene where um one of the the woman who's uh pregnant by the one of the lead stars the guy was smoking weed and he was like yo she's pregnant stop so it, it shows just like how I said, still... I said i said i said i said it with him a little bit more force than that, but you know. A what little more force. I'm, I'm speaking <laughs> it up for the folks, you know? Clearly, this is why you got the role and I didn't get the role. <laughs> now, this is such an action-packed film, and you were able to work with Bruce Willis as well. And, you know, we got to share some scenes and show some of that chemistry. How was that chemistry on screen for you when working with you? Him? You know, the thing for me is that, um, you know, I just stay locked into my character. So it's not yeah. really what kind of chemistry Leon has with, with Bruce Willis. It's just about, you know, what kind of chemistry or how is the relationship supposed to be between Pettis and, and Willis's character. And um, that's the most important thing that I wanted to capture there because there's a, um, there's a dynamic in the story that you know from seeing the movie that you're unaware of yeah. until later. And because of that relationship, so it was more like, how do you have this scene where these two people communicate, but yet you still keep a bit of a mystery there for the for the audience? You did a great job with that. I don't want to spoil it too much for the folks watching, but you definitely <laughs> see this film. Now, there's a scene where you and one of your castmates, kind of what I talked about, you guys talk about role models as she's pregnant in the film. Now, as a father, what are some traits you think that you and Cynthia have that considers you both great role models for Noel? Well, you know, I would hope that it would be first and foremost, you know, our work ethic mm -hmm. and our approach to life. You know, um, I think those are the things that you hopefully can give your children, you know, a work ethic so that they can survive and not just survive, but thrive in this world. And then also, you know, for them to just be able to um, respect yeah. the way you are as a person and who you are as a person. I think it's a really hard thing to grow up and not, you know, be able to respect your parents and respect what they do. And, you know, it's nice if you can look up to them. That's great too. But you want to at least respect them and respect, you know, what they do, how they approach the world and other people. I love that. Now, you actually just recently spent New Year's with Noel. Um, and of course, every time you go to a new year, there's always some goals that you have. What are some goals that you want to do in terms of like Leon as actor, artist, father? What are some things you have in store for yourself that you want to meet before the year ends? Well, first I'll start off with my favorite role, which is um, the role of dad. And um, I, uh, yeah, you know, both Noel and I both talked about this. You know, we, we made a concerted effort to spend more time together. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, between my busy schedule, her living out in Los Angeles now, um, and usually I'm in Los Angeles all the time, but because of the pandemic, I haven't. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we said pandemic or not, <laughs> dad and daughter, you know, we need to be doing our thing. So um, we started off the year great. I was just out there playing tennis with her every day, and it was great. And, um, 
yeah, and we're going to be doing a lot more of that. As far as me and my career, you know, I'm just hoping to, you know, continue to develop some projects that I have in development and, um, and hope to play some memorable roles that, you know, people remember past my time. That's all I ever really try to do. I, I mean, you definitely remember that. because people are coming to see you and not Otis in, the, <laughs> in these theaters, okay? So you definitely know how to make your mark. Now, speaking of make your mark, so recently... Cynthia appeared on Celebrity Big Brother. Now, while she may not have came out on top of the win, she did play a great game. Do you ever see yourself entering, like, the Big Brother house of ass? Like, do you see yourself going into that sort of, like, vertical and medium with your career, with, like, reality TV and things of that nature? Or are you more like, eh, we're going to keep it as an actor and then music and things like that? Yeah, the latter. Okay. This right here, this right here, this interview with me and you, Mm -hmm. That's my reality TV. That's it. I will <laughs> never it. catch you on Big Brother or anything at all. <laughs> nah. No. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I can't, I can't, I can't say that. I have to say that there, ha there has been a show that people have been talking to me about being on. And um, no, not the makers of the show. This is just oh, fans. This is just fans. fans. And I, I, I've never even seen the show. But, what uh, show is it? It's called The Masked Singer. Leon, why would you not want to be on The Masked Singer? You are an <laughs> artist. This would be, this would make so much sense if you pulled up as like a, a caterpillar and just start singing your, your heart out and then you end up winning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if that's really me in a competition setting, but you know, yeah, but I, I you know, I have been hearing that lately. I haven't even watched the show, but. They're like, you should be on a mass singer. You should be on that. You thought about being a mass singer? I'm like, no. <laughs> well, listen, definitely put, think about that. Put it on the list, you know, just just I, I in there. I, I don't need to think about I don't need to think about it until they come calling. If they come calling, then I'll think about it. But okay. Until then, I'm gonna keep acting. I'm gonna keep singing. I'm but when I put you out world. on the tag the mass singer, people will be like, hey, call that man. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we get him on there. Now, you posted a photo on your IG recently with the caption, in the mirror, there is only you. Deal with it. When Leon looks in the mirror, what does he see? I see me. I see the true me. I don't see the me that other people see in the media or films. I see me with whatever attributes or flaws that I have, and I accept it, and I cherish it, and I'm glad that I have whatever I have that I can look in the mirror and respect the person that I see. And uh, that's basically it. Now, the movie is called A Day to Die, which I think is one just a great title itself. It's so captivating. Now, when you think about, you know, when you happen to leave this earth for yourself, what do you hope the legacy of Leon looks like? All right, the legacy of Leon. Well, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, I just hope that, you know, I make and tell some stories that that last past my time mm. and that people will remember me and remember the stories that I told and, and roles that I played and, and songs that I sang or anything. You know, I think that when you're on this earth, um, it'd be nice for people to remember that. Okay. <laughs> is, there a, is there a specific role that you have not yet to play that you want to play? Um... Yeah, many, many. Okay, what's one? Say, I would say right off the top of my head um, mm -hmm. would be something that, you know, you, you like you're on my Instagram, you know, the people that the people tell me they want me to play it, and I would like to play it as well. I've never done a, a gut-wrenching romance. Oh. You know, tearjerker. Like a rom-com. Uh, what? Like a real good rom-com. No, that, no. So that's comedy about, and more like. Yeah, I'm not talking about comedy. I'm talking. I'm talking about drama. I'm talking about oh, something okay. you know, that tugs that tugs at your heart. Yeah, you know? oh. yeah, that kind of thing. We can make that happen. I'm listen. I'm sure with all the projects you have, I would not be surprised if it comes on my radar. You are in a gut wrenching romance. Well, I, got, I, 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 I have one in the pipeline. Let's 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 see. Oh, yeah. okay. So we're already starting to work. Yeah, like well, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm always developing things, you know, that I want to play, yeah, so, you know, let's hopefully 
it comes about. <laughs> I love that. Now, Leon, before we wrap this up here, you know, what's what's next? Because you have a busy schedule. You're always developing. Okay, we're going to try to get you on The Masked Singer. And you have so many stop projects. It, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and we have so many projects that you're putting out. So what's next for you? Um, I don't know. I don't know what's next for me as far as I'm going to um, continue my um, role on City on the Hill um, mm -hmm. on Showtime. And um, I have a few things in the pipe in that, and I'm going to tour with my band. Um, right. You know, before the pandemic, we put out an album called Love is a Beautiful Thing, and we haven't got a chance to tour with it. You know, we've done some really great dates, but, we, you know, we want to go out and, you know, hit all the cities. <laughs> New York, you got to listen. Make sure the first show is in New York so I can come see you guys. Of course, there'll definitely be a show in there. There'll be several shows in New York. You have to worry about that. Woo! <laughs> Music to my ears. Leon, thank you so much for having me today with Your Voice Media. Continues to do great things. And for folks who are watching this, make sure you see Leon in A Day to Die. It's such an amazing film. You don't want to miss it. And make sure you check out those dates for Leon the Peoples because they may be in your city. And go copy You them. know it. You know thank it. Thank you so much, Leon. All right. You take care. <laughs>